What's up team, welcome to the video. Today we are gonna be talking about home gyms and how to set up a home gym that is optimal for having enough equipment so you can accomplish your goals as well as minimizing costs. Now, I don't think I need to go into the details on why someone would want a home gym. Um, the biggest reasons in my eyes, and everyone has their own reasons, but the biggest reasons to me are the time savings on commute and the convenience, like any hour of the day it's open. Um, I would imagine there are some people who would prefer to avoid crowds or avoid people when possible, so a home gym can be effective there. And uh, one of the big myths that I hear is that having a home gym won't be as effective, or one of the fears that having a home gym won't be as effective as going to the gym where you have every piece of equipment and everything you can ever imagine, which simply isn't true. So I've broken home gym equipment into three or four tiers, and I'm gonna run through them. The first tier is the most important. Let's get into it. First, in tier number one, the what I would call bare minimum of what you need for a home gym that's gonna get you 85 to 90% of the progress that you could achieve having access to every piece of equipment ever is a set of adjustable dumbbells, a pull-up bar, an adjustable bench, and some bands. So those four things is tier one. It's the bare minimum. It's what I would recommend, to be honest. Uh, people who wanna get better at the squat, the deadlift, technical barbell movements, obviously you're gonna need a barbell, but just to see strength, muscle gain, fat loss, aesthetic changes in your body, you really only need those four things. So we'll start with the dumbbells. I like the Bowflex adjustable dumbbells uh, because they're the ones that I've used most recently that were best. I had a set of power blocks maybe 10 years ago. They were a lot clankier, a lot less, um, just a lot more difficult to use, but you can come in here. Actually, yeah, let's just do this. So this is what we have here. These go up to 90 pounds. I believe they're $600. So 600 total for both of them, 300 each. And to adjust them is really simple. Like you just turn the dial. I want it at 50 pounds. I want it at 50 pounds. It comes out. Um, these Bowflex dumbbells run up to 52.5 pounds per dumbbell rather than 90 and those are 300 for the pair, so half the cost, if that's what makes sense for you from a strength and not only like current strength, but think about projected strength where you might be in a year or two years. Um, yeah, if you can afford them, I'd suggest getting the heavier dumbbells, especially for guys, because the, the upper body strength limitations on something like a dumbbell bench press or a single arm dumbbell row, and even several of my women clients who are super strong. But um, if you can afford the 90 pounders, that's what I would get. A pull up bar that goes in a normal door frame. If you just look at Amazon's top choice for pull up bar, you're gonna find a good option, 30 to $40 price range. Even if you can't do pull ups, I think a pull up bar makes sense. And the reason is, you can mimic basically every movement pattern with a set of dumbbells. You can squat, you can hinge, you can vertical press, you can vertical pull, you can horizontal press, you can horizontal pull. Farmers carry with the dumbbells, obviously, but you can't, or excuse me, you can't overhead pull with dumbbells. So that overhead pulling motion, a pull up, a chin up, you need a pull up bar. Even if you can't do pull ups or chin ups, I'll link up a video how to do an assisted chin up but you can do an assisted chin up with a bench underneath you or you can do a, um, an assisted chin up with a band supporting you or you can do a banded chin up where you loop the band around the bar, sit on the ground and, and actually are pulling with both sides of the band. All of those are options, but a pull up bar does make sense and if you have a normal door frame, it'll fit in there. Adjustable bench is number three. Uh, I believe this exact one comes in at $169. So um, fairly reasonable. Really, it just allows you to do moves like, uh, I mean, a dumbbell bench press, uh, a single arm row where you're supported by something. 
you can incline for an incline bench. You can hit uh, an overhead press with the back support if you wanted that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of merit to having a bench. And I think for $170, the, the additional number of movements that the bench allows us to hit makes it worth the investment. And lastly, some bands. I will link up the bands I like most. They're really good for mobility and prehab type stuff, like band pull-aparts, uh, external shoulder rotations, a lot of moves that you could do with a, with a cable at the gym without investing in a piece of machinery that costs several thousand dollars. Um, and all the way up to the heavier bands are gonna be good for an assisted chin up for many people to be able to bang out a set of eight or 10 or 12 reps. So I'll link those up. I believe they're reasonable, like under a hundred dollars for a full set and you don't even need a full set. You can probably pick three bands and you're good to go. That's tier one. That is what I would say most people, unless you have a ton of money to spend, uh, a ton of space. Um, if you're an advanced lifter and you really want to get better at barbell movements, or if you're a beginner and you have a desire to get better at barbell movements, obviously jumping into tier two here is gonna make sense, but for most people, those four pieces of equipment, adjustable dumbbells, adjustable bench, pull-up bar, bands, are what I recommend. Quick, quick, quick caveat, if you wanna save even more money, because if you get the 52 pound dumbbells, uh, it's gonna add up to like, I believe like 550 or $600, which if you amortize that, shout out to my accountants, over the, the useful life of the, <laughs> like 1% of people are gonna get that. Over, over the useful life of the equipment, it's going to be much, much cheaper than the gym membership fees over time. Uh, but if you wanna save even more money, and if you're not sure about fitness stuff and you're like, I don't really know about this home gym idea, I don't wanna make too big an investment, if this isn't gonna work out for me, maybe I find out that I do like working out in person, uh, what you can do is just get two pairs of dumbbells. So maybe like, depends on your strength levels, but think about um, think about the heaviest dumbbells you would need for a movement and then think about a lighter pair and that's gonna save you a lot of money too. So maybe a, a pair of 15s and a pair of 35s, a pair of 20s and a pair of 40s. Um, yeah, that will end up getting you dumbbells and costing you even less. So that's an option as well. Tier number two, I would just add a barbell, free weights, squat rack, and then, I mean, that's gonna let you hit the big moves, right? A barbell bench press, a barbell back squat, barbell front squat, barbell deadlift. Um, and then I would add some like accessory pieces of equipment, like a mat if you don't wanna lay straight on the ground, like a foam roller, like a lacrosse ball or other uh, myofascial release tools. Those I would kind of group into uh, tier number two for the slightly more than just the essentials um, into, yeah, into that category. Tier number three, I don't even remember what's in tier number three, Benedict. Um, okay, so here we're looking at more advanced, more advanced slash also just more unnecessary things. And by unnecessary, I mean, we could do this movement with a dumbbell. However, we could also do it with a medicine ball. We could also do it with a kettlebell. We could also, like, like I talked about all the banded movements. Um, if you wanted to make the most optimal gym ever and you had 10K that you wanted to spend on it and you had a ton of space, get, uh, get a cable apparatus that allows you two adjustable pulleys with the pull-up bar that has 15 different grips um, we'll throw a picture on the screen here of what that looks like, but that is a, a very expensive piece of equipment that is not necessary, but if you wanted to make the greatest home gym ever, that's something I would throw in there. I would throw bumper plates in there. I would throw, you know, that's where you get into super nice mirroring. That's where you get into um, making sure the, the flooring you have down. And by the way, I'll put links to everything down in the description. They're not affiliate links. I'm not interested in taking your 75 cents on a purchase of whatever you're, you might pick up from this video, but uh, links to the best options for all of these things I'm talking about will be down in the description.
that's it. That's all I got. If you got questions, leave them below because I'm happy to go into more detail or answer any questions down in the comments. But really the most important chunk of this video is here's tier one, here's the things you need for a home gym, here's reasons why you might want a home gym, and here's the cost of those things. Um, and really just that point that you can hit basically any movement pattern with dumbbells, a pull-up bar, bands, and uh, this, this adjustable bench that I'm sitting on. So, hope this video was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. I will see you guys soon. Bye.